If he can have enough sex, then he, oh man, yeah, I don't, you know, 15 kids, man, you know, I'm bad. I messed her up last night. That's what he thinks. That ain't make you a man. You're a man when you be a responsibility for your children. Right now, I'm harassing for my son in Jamaica. I want to get him into America and get some education. My son is very brilliant. I'm trying to get him here. I'm fine for my kid to immigration. It's not easy, but I'm fine for him. I got two sons, one just graduated in you know, college in, in computers. And the other one is, is, uh, is 32. And he's done great. He's been in the army and stuff like that. So my sons at least got to help them to make it. I mean, I wasn't there all the time. I came to America so my sons can make it, to make some money and get a ministry. Matter of fact, then the truth, I came here for money. But God changed the whole uh, perspective and, and trained me in the gospel. The Christ touched me and says, come back to me. And I did. And I, I submitted myself to a man of God, Jimmy Ellison III, uh, a man who knows God's word. And I submitted myself. I thought I was the best preacher in the world. So I thought, till I heard him. But God taught me to humble myself again and sit down and learn for 15 years or plus to learn the gospel and to learn love and servanthood. Amen? And because of that, now I understand the perspective that her first hour relationship with God, and when I get to know myself and know the Lord, then I can have a wife. So then our brothers need to be in relationship with God. That's the first thing. Because right now, that sex spirit, that there's a lot of different spirits. So right? listen, it's definitely that sex spirit yes. uh, clouds the issue. That's right. And every time that we have sexual intercourse, we're participating when, when we do it outside the bonds of matrimony. Rebellion. Rebellion. That's a spirit. That's right. General Yohan, I'm so glad that you joined us and you jumped in at the right time because we've been dealing with what is the phenomenon in our community in which black men don't want to commit to black women. Why in our community do we have, in the 21st century, with all this technology and Facebook and Twitter and all this great innovation, we are still participating in self-destruction Man don't want to commit. We talked about rebellion, but um, but I also want you to jump in on what the minister just talked about, and that is the, 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 the sanctity of marriage. Now, I think you said in one of the previous shows, you said that uh, as soon as the man has sex with, 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 with the woman, just by virtue of the sex act, that that is now his wife. Am I correct? That's 100% correct. So they don't need a ceremony? A uh, ceremony is nice to have, but a ceremony is not biblically necessary according to the Bible. I want to uh, first say uh, thanks so much for having me. Yes. And I deep, deeply apologize for being late. That's I don't all right. like being late. And I, don't, yes, I mean, no disrespect to the panel and to all the brothers and sisters here tonight. Yes. Uh, I mean, this morning, rather. Um, see, I'm losing day and night. <laughs> running, <laughs> running like a man. That's all right. There's man. a lot of brothers and sisters that's in deep need and in, that, that are uh, is suffering out here. Uh, when a man has, black men are committing to black women every second of every day in America. The minute we start talking about black men and black women relationships and we start getting on the line of charging black men, we are going off the course. Okay. And you will find out in many discussions, look at your YouTube tapes, look around the world, you're going to see a lot of discussions about relationships and they always gear to how wrong black men are. You talked about black men being violent, and then you mentioned, Minister, how your own son joined the military. We don't have a problem with black men joining the military to do violence to fight for America, but we got a problem with them being violent towards one another. We need to examine our hypocrisy in what we do and what we say. When a man has sex with a woman, according to the Bible, he, that's his wife. We have sex every second, and we marry one another every second. The problem is, what we consider marriage in America is not marriage according to God. The white man, does, the white man is the devil, first of all. Let's just get, can we just clear the air on that? The white man is the devil. And how, the, how are we going to ask the devil for permission to marry our woman? And how are we going to enter into a contract with the devil on how our relationship is supposed to be built? We, we decide that men got to go out and work and pay the bills. But we don't give that same man the authority over his own household. He don't have no authority over his wife. He don't have an authority to marry off his daughter. He don't have an authority to tell his daughter how to dress. This is the new age. She can wear what she want to wear. 
What did Janet Jackson say? What have you done for me lately? That's what she said. <laughs> so now, now the man is disrespected and yet told to be in a marriage. Well, he's in the marriage. The minute he had sex with her, he was committed to her. But the problem is that commitment gets broken by the rules that men and women have together. And we believe in our, in our ignorance in this empire that by signing that piece of paper with the white man, that's going to mean we're going to be more committed. We're not going to be more committed. But, Jim, well, if I could just interrupt Please. for a second, because, okay, fine. I, and we'll, we'll get to the whole institution of marriage and the ceremony, and we can get into um, federal laws and state laws governing marriages, etc. But here's the thing. You can get, yeah, I, I understand people getting married in justice and peace, whatever, but the bottom line is this. God instituted marriage, all right? Now, I, I, just, I, I, I just have to draw a difference here. If... If, if, if we believe in that concept that as soon as that man sexually, you know, he penetrates that woman in a sex act, that he's married to her, well, with, then, then you need to answer me this then. Plenty of our brothers are entering a whole lot of women, and a whole lot of babies are produced. And our sisters are in the welfare office trying to get benefits because the man is nowhere in sight, the black man I'm talking about. So if they're married to them, why in the world aren't they committed? The reason that black men are not committing, as you would say, as, or as you would think, is because of how they're being treated by women in their relationship. Black, nobody charges the black woman. Everywhere, I go all over the country, and I speak in the street, in uh, events, and y'all have seen me on the TV and YouTube, all over the place. Yes, Everywhere I go to discuss relationships, you cannot charge black women. You start to tell black women the truth about themselves, which would really help every relationship. Everybody could have a perfect relationship like the brothers in the Israelite school, UPK. These brothers have a wonderful relationship. We got married, some of them got two, three wives. 10 years, 15 years, I talk about it like it's a trophy. I wish you'd come down and see them on the high holy days and watch their wives interact and see how they act with their children. One wife taking care of children of another brother, another wife, a sister wife and all of that. But you can't tell black women that they're being monsters in America. You can't tell them that. And the problem is, don't no black man want to be emasculated across America by black women. And, it's, and I hate to put the blame where it belongs, but the Christian church has empowered black women to be disrespectful to black men. And how? In, what way? in, in so many ways. In one, taking the authority over the household by using 911 whenever she decides. 80% of 911 calls are calls with women asserting their authority over men without men actually committing a crime. And there ain't a single sister or brother in this room that doesn't know somebody or some woman that called 911 on a brother because he pissed her off or told her that she couldn't do something or took his car from her because of the way she acted. And because of it, what happens? He gets pushed out of his own house. When how could you push another man out of his own house? The, even the idea is insane. So you're saying the Christian church is a oh, conduit for Oh, this? absolutely, and, brother. And, and so you're saying what, the Christian ministers are putting the black woman up? Yes, they are, uh, Making bogus calls that they've been abused? Because the woman, the woman man, thou man, art loose. But, but, but Woman, thou art loose. What does that mean? Well, you're making reference to Bishop T.E.J. That's just one. Okay, all right. That's just one. But would you not agree that domestic violence is a pervasive problem in our community? Men Absolutely. punching, kicking, biting, strangling, stroking, uh, 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 tying a black woman up, beating her, pummeling her to the ground. That's not a figment of one's imagination. Make no, make no mistake, Minister. Make no mistake. I'm not dismissing... <laughs> black men's violence against black women okay. like it's okay. okay. Make no mistake. Yes, sir. What I'm saying is this. It does exist. Because once again, those brothers that are not in the Israelite school of UBK don't understand how to correct their woman without being violent. Black men should have the authority to correct their woman. But since they don't have the authority in this empire and have never been taught how to correct their woman, they just go to what they know. They go smack her. They go put their hands on her. They go choke her. Because they know, instinctively, they know, this woman is not supposed to be treating me like this. I'm not supposed to be emasculated like this. 
They know it instinctively. The minute you get in an argument with your woman, you know automatically, like, oh, she talking to me like this. <laughs> it go automatic. But the problem is, the brothers are not taught. So the brothers do what's natural to men. They become violent to stop that woman. I'm not saying it's wrong. Here's what's wrong. Here's what's wrong. Christian ministers, the number one religion in the black community is Christianity. The buck stops with you. So if black men don't know how to deal and correct their woman, it's your fault. 